Welcome to the Brownwood Bulletin's webcast for Saturday, June 19, 2010. I'm Candace Cooksey Fulton, staff writer for the Bulletin, and here are some of the top stories we'll have in our Saturday paper. Brown County Sheriff's deputies arrested three people Thursday on Alabama burglary warrants and on drug-related charges after responding to a request to check a child's welfare. Deputies found the three adults and a two-year-old child whose mother was one of the three arrested at the Executive Inn in early, Sheriff's Lieutenant Tony Aaron said. All three suspects were charged with possession of controlled substance in a drug-free zone and possession of marijuana after deputies found methamphetamine and marijuana in their motel room. Stolen property from Alabama, including electronics, jewelry, guns, ammunition, and old coins were also recovered. Saturday is Juneteenth, a celebration of freedom originating in Texas on June 19, 1865, when General Gordon Granger brought news of the end of the Civil War and the subsequent liberation of enslaved persons in Texas, two and a half years after President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. And the days evolved into a freedom celebration for all. There's lots of fun and celebratory activities that will be going on all day long Saturday at Cecil Holman Park. And Saturday is County Cleanup Day. Pick up the Saturday Bulletin for the details on how to ecologically get rid of household rubbish and electronics. We'll have the details in our Saturday Spotlight. You'll get all these stories and more in our Saturday edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Buy the paper at your local newsstand or find us here at brownwoodbulletin.com.